Oh my goodness. Whoa, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong? Calm down. I think it's because I'm trying. Calm down. There's some bits for you in this hall. Are you gonna go up on the bed and chill out and sleep? <laughs> Please. Come on up. Good boy. Lie down. Stay. Right. No, you stay there. Oh god. Get a puppy, they said. It'd be fun, they said. So it is Azara. Oh my god, now my battery's flashing. <laughs> oh god. What a day! Okay, so today we have a Zara haul. I have noticed they've just started their sale, which is great because I got this order in just beforehand. So I'm gonna have a look back at some of the price. In fact, I might leave the prices on screen if they've changed. In fact, all the links will be left below anyway, so you'll be able to see that. Um, if you did wanna pick anything up, of course. So I might even have a little look and see what they have got in the sale and see if they've got any bits that I was maybe keeping my eyes peeled for but didn't purchase. So I'm gonna start with my Zara home box, which is full of goodies, and then I have the Zara fashion bits. I have a whole mixture of things today, actually. So I have a couple of stationary bits, which I thought looked beautiful, very aesthetically pleasing. If you are an Estise, Estise, I think that's what we're called as people that like aesthetically pleasing things, then you're gonna love this. This is, well, there's two things actually. The first one is a linen folder. I love the packaging that Zara stationery comes in. I wish we had a Zara home here in Manchester. We used to have one at the Trafford Centre but they closed unfortunately. Anyway, this is what the linen folder looks like. I'm obviously thinking in mind for future office, filming room, stationary bits that are nice to look at and maybe have on display or just, I don't know, things like this just make me happy, okay? So this is like an open folder here which also has graph paper, notebook which is like a slip in so you can also replace this once you've you know obviously completed it you can remove this it just slides up and have the folder it's got a little pocket here as well insert and then this is a handmade jute bound notebook and again in that same kind of linen texture we have this again at 19.99 well, that's 19.99 euros, it says on the back. It might have been slightly different. But it's got this kind of jute tie on the side that, like, goes into a bit of a binder there. I just, again, that stacked up with a linen folder I think will look really nice. I love the fact that it's an exposed binder. This one is actually plain, so good for maybe if you're into sketching. This would be good for mind mapping and all sorts. So, yes, they're the two little stationary bits that I picked up and then I also got a home fragrance item this is the Zara home absolute linen room spray well it's like a linen spray linen and room spray I believe it says linen but I always use it in the room as well even when I make the bed if of course I make the bed every single morning I always give it a little spritz with whatever I'm currently using whether it be a Febreze or one of these is so nice and then I just spritz the room as well especially before bed I like to go in with this as well so I do go through these pretty quickly I'm not gonna lie and the linen fragrance is obviously ideal for the bedroom so these would look good set on a little like marble tray or something next to a candle in a guest bedroom as well, I feel. And what else have I got in here? I love a Zara home. I'd love to just do a Zara home order. And, um, oh, you're intrigued for this one. A Zara home haul is what I was trying to say. Okay, this I am very excited about. This again, the aesthetes out there, the people that like an aesthetically pleasing match <laughs> we'll love this one so this is a little kind of corked lidded jar with white matches in it's got the little scratch pad there on the back which you can use to light the candles i'm not gonna lie this is maybe more of a display object as opposed to a practical i suppose it's both but this i just think would look beautiful actually styled up in a like on a coffee table on top of some coffee table books i love the look of this. Last but not least in the Zara Home box I picked up a pair of shoes. So they quite often on Zara Home have uh, 
home wear they call it more sort of lounge wear night wear that kind of thing on their home website or on the home tab on the main zara website and i saw these shoes they're like a um a flip-flop essentially like a rubber sandal but i just thought they were a little bit nicer than just a box standard 90p primark pair of flip-flops so if and when it's hot because when it is hot i like to just basically live in flip-flops or Birkenstocks and I just think these look a little bit smarter I like the squared off toe it's got the little kind of toe hole and the strap that goes over the foot so I picked these ones up in a six and I'm usually sort of six six and a half these fit fine so just stay true to size no need to size up in these one thing I have noticed if you're regular Zara orderers online they had a new company Hermes delivered these are a home but a company called pack p-a-a-c-k i think it is delivered this except everything else about the parcel looks exactly the same okay so the first two things i'll show you are for this little man over here it's not really directly for him it's like he knows that these ones are for him so the first thing that i picked up is actually from the zara edited pet collection so they have a whole tab on their website dedicated for your fur babies and this is from the edited range which is customizable so i've got him a, a little collar that comes in this cute little gingham drawstring bag which is just handy in itself now the actual collar itself I ordered the large and it is way too small for him and he's only seven months old so I mean the edited part because obviously you can't return this because it is customizable um the edited part is actually on the bandana so I can just slip that off and put it on his regular collar anyway he's got a nice big boy collar which is just about fitting him I feel like he just has a couple couple weeks off um actually wearing that properly because he can actually slip out of it on the tightest for now so as soon as he fits into his big boy collar i'll pop this on because i think it is adorable it's the little matching kind of gingham to the little bag that it comes in and as you can see on the bottom there it is stitched barney and you can pick the thread color as well that you want i just went for like a dark brown because that's the color of his big boy collar his nice leather collar that he's going to wear when he's fully grown so i just thought that would look adorable on there great gift idea as well if someone is getting maybe a little fur baby next from the pet collection as well and again comes in this cute little canvas drawstring bag so practical so handy little touches like this just draw me into the purchase even more so within this little bag he's actually asleep now so i don't want to squeak it but there is a squeaker toy and it's a little gingham bone. They've obviously got a bit of a thing for gingham, or maybe I have. Um, and it's got a little Zara on it. You can just obviously cut out this tab here. And it's a little squeaker bone. So I'm all about the aesthetically pleasing pet toys. I am not the only one out there. Please, someone else, let me know if you also look out for aesthetically pleasing dog toys rather than the bright and colourful ones. There is a company, actually, I just want to give a quick shout out to Pet Hamper. I think they're based not far from me actually and they are basically a customizable hamper online website whereby they have so many different toys and treats and all sorts to choose from collars harnesses that you can kind of pick and choose your item and collate them into a pet hamper whether it's a gift for someone a gift for yourself if you're picking up a new fair baby or maybe if it's like their first birthday or something to do a little gift hamper and they are full of aesthetically pleasing dog or pet products I should say because they've got stuff for cats as well so yeah pet hamper if you did want to check it out and if like me you're into that kind of thing so this little set actually comes with this squeaker bone but also a um grooming brush and this is one that I want to try he's started to shed a lot more now that his adult coat is coming through so I just want to nail getting the right grooming kind of set up at the minute I've just got like a grooming brush which works fine but a, a family friend of mine who used to have a cat and a dog actually she had one like this and it I remember it being really really good so any other golden retriever owners out there any grooming tips do send them over I also got one accessory which again comes in a nice duster bag this is the sort of thing that I love about Zara just the attention to detail with extra little additional things like this when you purchase things from their website you probably wouldn't get this in the store this little purchase here 19.99 this one was and it's a little cooler bag obviously again it looks gorgeous love the kind of canvasy linen texture to this 
and obviously the, the practical element as well so inside it is made with that silver kind of lining to keep items cool so if you're going on a little picnic or um, a nice long walk or something and if I want to have Barney's little bowl and some cold water in there some snacks for me and Tom you know if we're going for a nice long walk or like I said a little beach day or picnic trip or something where you want to keep some items cool then this is great for that but in itself even if you're not using it as a cooling bag I just think it's quite a cute little practical bag so yeah I love that it's got a little netting on the side and a really long strap as well all monotone with the whole beige element is very me and I think that's it for accessories homeware pet and all that kind of stuff so now on to the fashion I'm going to start with an item that I picked up super cheap from the menswear they were um, they have a whole special prices section, which obviously they do quite often in store and online. I saw this in the menswear for a really affordable price point. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get it, even though it's not quite on season. Although having said that, we have had a lot of cooler days. So don't get me wrong, we have the hot days and when we do, I am sweltering. But when we do have the cooler days, I still have been wearing a sweatshirt every once in a while. So anyway, I did pick this up in an X. L. they do have a double XL as well but this um, is in an extra large so it's something that me and Tom could even share I quite like the fact that when I buy menswear we can even share it so um, let me rephrase that I quite like it when he buys menswear and I can wear his <laughs> anyway this has like a nice simple kind of pocket design on the front other than that it's plain and simple and I love the kind of stone beige colour. Little pop of minty greeny colour now and this is a shirt that I actually already own in a beige colour, stone colour. I think I showed it in my last Zara video and it was again another special price item and it was only $14.99. So I picked another one up because I have worn my other one quite a few times as a layer over a dress and this one with it being like a nice minty sagey green colour I thought would look really pretty over a white dress. So again in an XL I just wear it open and loosely fitted and again it's something that Tom could wear as well if you wanted to. So moving on I I picked up this and I think I'm going to send this back because I don't know if I like the kind of fit of it it's a bit it's, it's an oversized shirt let me actually show you what it is first it's an oversized beige shirt that is like a poplin style almost could be worn as a shirt dress I suppose this one is in a medium and is definitely a kind of oversized fit already I like the idea of this but how often I'd use it, I don't know. And how I would style it, I think I'd struggle. So I'll see. I mean, this even in, on its own would look beautiful, just open with a white swimsuit underneath. If you do have any like summer holidays, books, UK staycations anywhere with a beach, I think can look really nice. So I've talked myself into potentially keeping that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rethink this. Okay, this next item, again, another green number, is something that I actually saw in store last time I did vlog to... Um, the traffic centre in the Zara there and I did see it and I was tempted for it but I ended up leaving it and regretting it. It's nice to have a bit of variety as opposed to a white or cream dress that I have quite a few of in my collection uh, because actually practicality wise especially owning a dog and like pottering around in the garden you can get a bit dirty so a white is a one-time wear whereas if you wear a colour it's maybe a bit more of an option to wear it more often than just on one occasion. The really lightweight linen fabric is perfect for the summer. The fact that it's long line is good for if you maybe um, don't wanna get your legs out. I feel like that will be the sort of dress that I'll just wear time and time again for years. Same with this one. So this, again, another little pop of color. Great color for summer, this one. I've seen, I never would think to pick out blue myself, but when I, like a few people I follow on Instagram who wear like this lighter blue color and are blonde, I always think it looks so nice, this little pop of colour. So I went for it and I got it in a medium. It's that kind of shared fabric on top with a nice thick strap, not adjustable, which for me will probably be fine, but sometimes if you struggle with that, then they might drop down. Um, other than that, it's just like a three-tiered floaty smock style dress just again so comfortable and nice and long so that legs are covered and an alternative to white so next up i have a white dress <laughs> it's not really white it's kind of like a tie-dye this one's described as it's quite subtle though there's not much of the tie-dye color it's kind of like a mushroomy 
taupe colour I would say that the tie dye is in. This dress is in a medium, it's only 19.99 and this is one of those dresses that is just a at home, like I said on a hot summer's day, a real practical just pottering around working from home type outfit and it's in a really nice kind of jersey fabric so it's super lightweight but it's also just very comfortable so I'll end up getting a lot of wear out of this one as opposed to a dressier dress that I would wear more out and about because let's face it I don't go out and about that often oh speaking of which though I am actually going to Wilmso today Tom's at a meeting there so I might go meet him after his meeting and maybe I'll wear one of these dresses, either the sage or the blue one, I think. Okay, next up I've got a little play suit number in that kind of linen-y fabric again. And this is beautiful. This fabric is everything to me. It's kind of a mustardy brown colour, which is a little bit different. I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe. And it's a really low back and it's like gathered here as well, so cinched in a little bit. It is quite short as far as play suits go. So this for me is definitely a hot summer's day outfit where you really just need nothing on you. It is quite skimpy, good little holiday piece. Oh, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things I've ordered actually. It was only 19.99. Now I did get a large. There's probably a reason for that. I'm guessing there weren't any other sizes available. Having said that and looking at it, I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. So it's like a, um, well, it's a jumpsuit with gathered bottoms and also a drawstring waist to really cinch in. And it's also a really nice, again, jersey fabric, just a nice and simple cotton that is lightweight, but also the main thing, comfortable. So, so comfy. I might actually wear this one today. 19.99, I think it's really great value for money for this item. It's a full outfit. I was gonna say off white, it's definitely not an off white. It's like a creamy sage, right, really pale sage green color. I love that. Stone, let's go with stone. It's a nice stone color, stone tone. Okay, I've got some basic white tees. I've got a couple of different options just to add to my wardrobe. Again, everyday white tee, a classic. So this is actually a slightly more cropped feel cropped feel, cropped uh, style. This is a bit more practical. This is a like a dip low hem where it's slightly shorter at the front, longer at the back. This is like a good everyday basic for me. This one is in a small, I picked this one up in, and it's also an off-white. It's more of a creamy color, this one, as opposed to, if I show you in comparison, this is a true white. It's definitely more of a creamy color. A little bit more expensive at 11 99 that one. The first one was 9 99 This one, I think is 9 99 as well, is it? 11 99 as well, sorry. So this, again, is a bit more of a practical piece. This is just a basic oversized tee this one is this is a bit thicker of a fabric thicker material and this one is in a medium a nice crew neck tee is a good everyday go-to piece for me okay this next set is totally mismatched and on the website the way that i shopped this i thought this was a matching set it's definitely not i mean the tones are completely off. This top is in a medium, $14.99 and a really pretty kind of khaki, light khaki colour. Whereas the trousers is the same fabric to be fair, it's that same kind of thin lightweight knit. But they're much more of a duck egg blue. These ones are in a medium though, $29.99. This is a good toweling piece per ward, which I have seen in store and have really liked. So I thought I would um, make the purchase and try it out. So it is again, for either a beach, a holiday destination, a hot summer's day in your garden, because it is quite a skimpy outfit. So a nice little pair of toweling shorts, that with like a swimsuit or a bikini top to tan in in the garden is just a real practical piece. In a medium, $14.99, and then the top, the matching top that comes with it, I picked up in a medium at $9.99 is this little kind of cropped up. This would be good as like a little bralette as well, actually, like underclothes. They did have these sets in multiple different colors as well. I opted for the nice kind of camely brown tone. And then I also picked up another short crop top cohort set. Again, this I thought was an exact cohort set, but it's actually made from a different fabric, different material, so perhaps it's not. They do work well together though they are a good color match and the top is like a little crop top again a good little bralette 6.99 this one was in a medium and then the shorts i think are so practical they have no kind of hardware at the front it's just a stretchy 
uh, waistline with pockets and they are just little short shorts again for in the garden pottering around and that with like one of the basic oversized white tees would be a good little outfit as well. And then last but not least, we have some denim shorts. These are in a beautiful stone color, nice and high waisted. They had some gorgeous vintagey kind of light wash blue denim shorts that I loved the look of, but they were sold out. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for them, who knows? Hopefully they've come back in stock and got into the sale, double whammy. Uh, but for now, I picked up this stone pad. They are a UK 12. We'll see if there's a try on clip, they fit, or I could get them on at least, and you'll see how they fit. If not, then they don't fit. So UK 12, 19.99. Good price point for them, 19.99. And that is everything I picked up. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. And if you want more Zara hauls like this from me in the future, I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.